Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam and this is an Olive Martini Ely Agnes. This is an evergreen, super fast growing Olive Martini Ely Agnes from the Southern Living Plant Collection. Okay, so just a few days ago, there was a giant playset right here, and uh, I do a lot of filming right here in my backyard, and this playset's always offered me a little bit of screening. Also, my deck is over here, and uh, people really couldn't see when I'm sitting out on the deck. Taking this playset out has, you, you just see, you know, you can see the road right here behind me. It's foggy this morning, so you can't see back there as well as normal, but uh, you can just see directly into my backyard anytime I'm filming, um, people are probably think I'm crazy talking to the camera back here anyway. So um, I do screen that out a lot of times uh, when I'm filming. So I wanna get something here that's very, very fast and can cover this really, really quickly. And uh, the, the best thing I could come up with was an Ely Agnes. And this is a new variety from the Southern Living Plant Collection called Olive Martini. Has beautiful yellow variegated leaves. It has the typical uh, newest growth on it, has that silver uh, top on it and that coppery back, but the leaves actually mature into these variegated leaves that are just super, super striking. I don't even know how well this is going to show up on camera, how incredibly bright this is. This is in February, so it's not even putting on its full uh, potential color right now. Uh, once this new growth gets going, this contrast between these two colors is just awesome. These can get 10, 15 feet tall and probably 10 feet in width. I'm putting three right here, which is closer together than they need to be. But Ely Agnes, once established, is so good at competing with itself that it won't be a problem at all. So like I say, this is gonna be really, really fast to fill this in very, very quickly for me. It's gonna be the backdrop on this side to my white garden on the other side of the fence. And on this side, I'm gonna plant other shade loving things in here. These will grow in the sun or the shade. It really doesn't matter. In the full sun, you're probably gonna get the showiest variegation on it, but I think we could probably drop into very low light. They may stretch out a little bit more on me uh, if I put them in too much shade, but in the morning I'm gonna get a ton of sun here till about noon. I think that's gonna be plenty to keep them reasonably compact. Uh, if not, I'll just come in here and shear them anytime. This is a plant that if it gets too out of control, you can just do a complete reset on it. You can cut this thing back to the ground and it'll just come right back up from the roots. Fantastic that way. These are super, super drought tolerant. They're actually pretty cold tolerant. These are hardy down to 10 below, which is uh, zone six. Definitely because of the rate of growth of these Olive Martini Ely Agnes, the main purpose of these is definitely as a screening plant. But I have used one as a container plant uh, the last two winters. I've moved it in on the absolute coldest nights, but it's sitting out here in the front of my house right this minute um, in a decorative container and it's just beautiful all winter long uh, with this gold foliage on it. Just nothing else would give me that gold foliage all winter and need such little protection. I've only had to move it in maybe three nights uh, the entire winter, so that's nice. I have videos on my YouTube channel for planting woody trees and shrubs. I am not gonna worry about Ely Agnes at all. I'm gonna leave them mounded up a little bit because there's definitely clay uh, in this soil right here. It has improved over time because I keep mulching it and putting leaves here and. Uh, fertilizing it with some organic fertilizer. So I've been improving the soil forever, but it's definitely clay underneath. So I mound everything up a little bit. Don't mulch up on the stems. Don't cover anything that's not covered. Super industrial plant. Water them in really, really well after you plant them. Once they're established, they don't need a lot of ongoing watering if you're in an area that gets regular rainfall. But in this particular case, I'm trying to cover this as fast as possible. And I'd like to get these up in the six foot range this year. And that's very possible with this plant but it's not gonna be possible if I'm drought stressing it. So I'm gonna keep a close eye on these this first spring and I'm really gonna push them. And if they're ever even partially dry, I'm gonna get the water hose over here. I'm gonna really drown the space around them and I wanna keep them growing all season long. I'm gonna fertilize these beginning of March. This is a plant because of what I'm trying to do here, I'm actually gonna come back in the early summer. I'm gonna hit them with fertilizer again. I'm gonna to try to really push them all summer long. Like I think I already mentioned, you could prune these pretty much anytime you'd wanna prune them. In the late winter before they start their spring growth would probably be the best time if you were really gonna be super aggressive with them. But it doesn't really matter. In the middle of summer, if you've got some crazy limbs on these and you wanna get them under control, just do it. You're not gonna hurt these Ely Agnes. Another nice thing about these Olive Martini Ely Agnes is they're basically pest free and very, very deer resistant. 
just based on how wide these get, I could have definitely gotten away with just two pieces here, but uh, three is always looks better to me. These are gonna come up over this fence and wrap around a little bit behind that cherry tree and that's gonna look really, really great. I'll probably keep them boxed in on this side so I can plant some other things in front of them, but you can see how beautiful this gold foliage is here in a close up. So what are you waiting for? If you need a fast screening plant, this Olive Martini Eliagnus from the Southern Living Plant Collection is a great choice to get it done and get it done quickly. Thank you very much for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for future videos.